Hi and welcome to the Soulmate Journey for the week of January 22nd through January 28th. Um, this is where we are going to look at a group of you and see what's taking place throughout your soulmate journey. Everybody is not in the same place as others. Some are just starting their journey, others are, they've been in it for two years. So we're gonna look at different groups and right now we're looking at one group and I will continue this on Vimeo and look at another group of you as well. So what we have for you is the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Wands, nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles okay this is this is nice so you and your partner are at the point right now where you've already um you came together it was an amazing connection you got along well and then all of a sudden something happened that triggered you or the other person where you pulled away from each other. And I'm going to refer to this as you being the chaser that is watching this. Now it can be reversed, so you'll know how it resonates with your situation if it does resonate. If not, then maybe we can capture it on the, uh, the extended version. So. The two of you have been apart and what I'm hearing has been about actually about a year and a half into the two year time frame. You have not spoken about eight, nine months, okay? You tried, you did everything you could to bring this relationship to fruition. It's like you didn't even really get off the ground. You met, it was wonderful, and then boom, something happened and it didn't really get a good start. And you've been trying. You've offered a new beginning. You've offered an apology. You don't know what you're apologizing for because you're confused, but you still did this because they're your wish, okay? This is this is what you've been dreaming of. The, the connection that the two of you had is so unbelievably deep very deep and you got to know each other on a soul level very very different type of a relationship and like I said the two of you haven't spoke for what eight to nine months I believe is what I'm now yeah, that's what I'm hearing you decided to back out of the relationship and that's why the two of you have not communicated in this time frame because you said that's it I'm not gonna do this I'm gonna move forward in my life you can't get them off your mind. You think of them every day and they are still your wish. They still are what you hope for. However, you're smart enough now. You learned through this relationship. You pulled some of the lessons, not all, but some of the lessons you needed to learn. You've pulled out and you've healed most of the healing, but not all of it. They left you feeling kind of, um, alone on your own it's like you felt unprotected with them you felt very very safe very comfortable very protected because you know them soul to soul you know them and on a soul level you know you can trust them but it's the external person that we're talking about you didn't get to know them who they are in this world You chose to work really hard on your life. You put yourself in your finances. You decided that's it, and you actually did what you were supposed to do. Dove into your finances. You got all your finances in order. You like your career. You like where you live. Everything that's going on in your life is really bringing you to this Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is where we need to be when we're ready to be in a long-term committed relationship. This is a person who has created a world that they absolutely love, everything about it, all of it. You walk in, that's your haven, you like your car, you like your friends, you like everything in your life. And love is about want, not need, because you have gained a tremendous amount of self-love something you didn't have before. 
as you've been working on you and growing into this amazing person, your partner has also been worked on. Now they've been worked on from above because they may have been uh, rebelling. I'm not sure what, how they got there. Well, yeah, of course they were enlightened from above, but they've grown as an individual and they're ready to finally take action. They're ready to finally come forward. However, you being in that frame of mind that you're in, beautiful frame of mind, ready to move forward in life, hoping maybe someday they'll be back because you do have, it's real love, it's deep, but you also have a brand new person that has come into your life. And this brand new person is actually seeing you in your new light, in your new suit of armor, okay, for who you really are, okay? You've aligned yourself. Your soul is lining up with your external person. So this new person that has come in sees the real you, and you're not hiding anything. You're being truthful. You're being open and honest. You're ready to actually have a long-term committed relationship. And no sooner does this new person come in and your old person comes in, your soulmate is returning to you. And it's really, um, they're the one that, you know, you felt alone, you felt unprotected. They, you know, actually what I'm seeing is they said and did some really, um, some things that hurt you very, very deeply. But you were able to heal from that without closure of any kind. You really had to dig deep and you had this amazing connection with the other side. So the angels have guided you and protected you through this process. Now you are at a decision to which one am I going to go to? Which one do I pick? What do I do? It's actually making you, um, you can't sleep at night because you're indecisive. You don't know which direction to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to Vimeo and finish this. I'll pull a couple more cards and take a look at it. So if you want to click the link, I will see you on the other side.